Today I want to show you how I DIY this bench cushion for my backhead seating in the dining room. If you are interested in this whole backhead setup, I do have another video that you can watch on how to DIY this whole backhead setting. For the materials, you need a high density foam. It is more comfier than the cheaper foam you'll get from a local hardware store. Um, I got mine from Joanne. In terms of the fabric, I got it from Target as a tablecloth. It's pure linen, but I really like the color and texture, and it's a really affordable price. I'll add both links in the description so you can check them out. I started by cutting out the fabric pieces. I cut three pieces in total, one large piece which covers the top and the side of the cushion, and two smaller pieces which will form an envelope opening and cover the bottom of the cushion. When I cut the two smaller pieces, I intentionally kept one original finished edge of the tablecloth per piece, which will serve as the envelope edge. To create the side of the cover, because my insert is 3 inches, for each corner I measured 3 inches from each edge, then pinched and sewed a straight line to form the shape. Then I flipped the right side out to make sure everything looks good and trim the actual fabric, then finish the edge with a zigzag stitch. For the entire project, I used a half inch seam allowance. After that, I placed the two bottom pieces on top of the large piece with the right side facing each other. I also overlapped the two bottom pieces by a half inch to form the envelope opening and pinned everything in place. The corner will take a little more patience during pinning but it's always nice to get a sharp and a clean corner. So the basic cover is done and it's time to make the ties. For each tie, I cut the fabric to one and a half inch by eight inch rectangles and fold it and sewed them with a half inch seam allowance. Then I trim the seam allowance by half, which will be a quarter inch, so they are easier to flip the right side out. Feel free to skip this part and use ribbons or velcro instead of making those ties. I did it because I love the tied back look. Then I sewed those ties to the envelope opening, making sure to backstitch a couple times to secure it and the cushion cover part is done. To cut the high density foam to sides, I drew a line and used a bread knife to cut it. Then I stuffed the foam to the cushion cover. I started with one side and stuffed the corners in and folded the other side over and stuffed it. Because my envelope opening is in the center, it took some time and patience to fiddle with the foam. I would recommend you to do 80-20 ratio for the bottom side instead of 50-50 which is what I did. And that would make the stuffing part a bit easier. Well, that is all. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy watching this video, you can like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. Bye.